Get ready for some amazing news, dear Kansas City Chiefs fan. Right now, show your support and hit the like button on the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any updates. Before Sunday's AFC Championship game between the Kansas City Chiefs and the Baltimore Ravens, Patrick Mahomes is the standout player entering the competition. With that said, he is not the only member of Andy Reid and Matt Nagy's offense who needs to be held accountable. In addition to Mahomes, Baltimore's defensive coordinator, Mike McDonald, has the task of finding ways to slow down wide receiver Rassi Rice and tight end Travis Kelsey. There's also running back Isaiah Pacheco, who had a very solid second-year campaign. Playing in 14 regular season games, Pacheco carried the ball 205 times for 935 yards and 7 touchdowns. With an average of 4.56 yards per carry, he also had his best season as a pass receiver. Registering 244 yards on 44 receptions, his catch percentage of 89.8 .8 ranked second among all players. Heading into the conference title game, the Ravens know they need to keep an eye on Pacheco. Speaking to the media this week, Coach John Harbaugh praised the Chiefs' leader but expressed confidence in his team's ability to minimize his impact. They're controlling the ball very well, said Harbaugh. They present three or four types of game plans in certain ways. It's nothing you haven't seen before, but they focus on something they try to exploit. That guy is coming downhill. He's hitting that way, full tilt. He weighs 225 pounds. His knees are high. He's rolling, and it's going to be a big challenge for us to deal with him because he's as physical a runner as there is in the league. He's as determined as there is, and we'll have to be a physical and determined defense to deal with him. I like our players. I like our players' chances. Our players will be ready for it, and we'll have to be because he's a good runner. Stopping Pacheco will be much easier said than done. After missing weeks 14 and 15 while recovering from shoulder surgery, he totaled only 26 yards on 11 carries in his first game back. Since then, however, he concluded his regular season with a 130-yard performance on 18 carries against the Cincinnati Bengals. In the wildcard weekend, he had 89 yards and a touchdown against the Miami Dolphins. In Sunday's win over the Buffalo Bills, he averaged 6.47 yards per carry for a 97-yard performance. The proof doesn't stop there. According to Pro Football Focus tracking data for the 2023-24 regular and postseason, Pacheco ranks in the top 10 in yards after contact, runs of 10 or more yards, and runs projected for at least 15 yards. He is not only powerful but also explosive. His running style consistently captivates the internet during nationally televised Chiefs games. Pacheco's style is relatively unique in modern NFL. Of course, Pacheco is not perfect. He still struggles with patience, and his vision remains inconsistent in his second season. With that said, he is undoubtedly Kansas City's best running threat and a more complete back in his second year. He grabs the attention and respect of the opposing defense and showed last week that he can help influence a game in a significant way. With this in mind, the MNT Bank Stadium hosts are clearly plotting their plan to reduce that impact level slightly. It will be up to the visitors to keep Pacheco in check. Now, I want to hear your opinion, dear fan. So, go ahead and leave your comment below, and don't forget to hit the like button on the video, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed, and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any updates.